Hey guys and welcome back to another match day vlog. Today, Knox her home to Mansfield in the local derby. Wonderful. Please Knox. We can't lose four in a row to the Stags. We can't lose four derbies in a row. We can't lose 11 league games in a row. Please, stop this awful form. New owner, new manager, new era. I hope it has brought positive morale. I hope it brings positive morale, motivation, some belief, some positivity. Just to get the players up for this game. I don't want to lose again. Can't afford it. We're already third bottom. We can't afford to lose again. This is not much of a long intro because I'm really tired, you know, and feel like falling asleep at the minute. But yeah, talk to you in a biz. <laughs> Back in! Good ball! Oh, oh one of you! Right, it's half time, it's not nil, Mansfield nil. nil. We played alright, to be honest, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we've been playing okay, Mansfield have had decent spells, it's been more even, hasn't it? To be honest. Yeah. Just, we're just lacking final, we're just lacking quality in the final third. Just so we can. Get some, uh, every time I say it, oh, get some a second off, we always concede. So, now, at least the players, the players are actually, you know, the players are trying for once, which is nice to see. Come on, let's kick it now. Right, it's 83 minutes gone, it's still nil nil. I can't, I, I can't take this, can you? No. I can't take it at all. So tight, isn't it? It's so... We're going to draw, I think we've done well. Yeah, no, I think we have, yeah. Because we've got no quality in the final third. No. We haven't made a sub yet. We've well, got no quality anywhere. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to look at how far this. This is stressing. Four minutes out of the room. Stars keep getting players on the pitch. Mm, you used to um, get man of the match, didn't you? Yeah. What else? I'm so... Oh, come on, I can't lose it now. It's our ball, it's our ball. Oh, my goodness. Come on, Simon. This is how we're going to get three points against the yellow back. I can't say that on the internet. We're going to do it. Swift. For the channel, Simon. Where are you going? Hey, a word for the channel. A word for the channel. This is the stop. We didn't lose. You heard it here. <laughs> Knots are on their way up. What do you think of the ref, Bill? Come on, what? Come on, what do you think of the match? It's on his channel. <laughs> <laughs> no swearing on the airwaves, William. Sorry, it's fine. I got it in your. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya.
Well played, Knox. Finally. The we losing streak is we, we didn't, didn't lose. lose. So that's it. The game finished nil nil. I'm happy with a point, you know, not just because it's 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 good to start off with a point because the new manager and the new owner come in, but against a Mansfield side, not just because it's a derby and nobody likes to lose a derby, but because um, they they had three they been in good form going into this game, they kept three clean sheets in a row um, coming into this match, and also you know you don't want to start off the new era you know with a loss against your local rivals at home. It really it really wouldn't be you know the confidence would be drained a bit. After the positive morale that um, Nolan and Hardy have brought in, you know, just just give the place a lift when when the new when a new manager and a new owner comes in, it it would have been um, awful to derail that confidence with a lost to your local rivals. But now I can't fault the commitment of the players today. It was absolutely fantastic. You know, they fought for everything out there. Um, a spe special um, shout out to Ordell, Colin and Doffy who fought fantastic to for us today. Adam Colin with a crucial save late on. And uh, Ordell commanding at the back. Very well done to Thierry Ordell. Had a really good game today. Um, we just lacked quality in the final third. Um, Man 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 did, both teams didn't create much, but I'd say Mansfield probably did have the better of the chances. It wasn't really a great match. It was just a massive battle. Um, yeah, going back to it, we really do lack quality in the final third. We need a striker who can, you know, who can score goals. As I said, you know, Stead's he's good. There. Stead's good to have because of experience, but he's just one of them strikers. You know, he could pop in with a few. We need someone who's in his mid twenties. He, his, his mid twenties. You know, he's a consistent goal scorer. I'm not talking you no know, scoring a hat trick every game. I just want consistency. If you don't score goals, you don't win games. It's as simple as that. Um, yeah, so we need to sort that out when it. When or if the embargo is lifted, so we can get a few players in to help us in this relegation battle. Um, but I'm I'm glad to start off with a point. You know, end the losing run, not just against Man uh, in the league, but against Mansfield as well. Great support as well today by each set of fans. Mansfield bring three and a half thousand knots. Um, I think it's about eight thousand knots um, fans in the ground. If if you, if this was your first game at Meadow Lane uh, for a while and you were not Sam in weeks, months, or or years. Um, keep coming back, yeah, we need your support to help the team, to spur the team on, to help us in this relegation battle so we can hopefully climb the league table. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a good point, it, um, it's a stepping stone, we can, use, we can build on it um, and hopefully we can go to Grimsby next week and get some from the game there. If you've liked the vlog, please give the video a like, comment down below your views on the game and the vlog. Subscribe if you're new, stay subscribed if you're already sold, be safe, be champions, and as always, Sirush.